living with someone else who comes from a different place and who speaks a different language, well, that can be pretty interesting. I will say, in my opinion, it's helped both of us become more aware of ourselves and each other's differences. Something I have to say, ever since we've been together, I've never felt so Haitian. Because when I'm among my Haitian people, I don't think about my roots. I don't have to think about who I am, where I come from, about traditions, about culture. It all comes naturally to me. But when I am with somebody who doesn't have the same um, experience I've had, I consciously think about who I am, the stories I grew up listening to, um, what is important, what is acceptable in a Haitian setting. And it made me being Haitian, um, loving being Haitian a little bit more. Okay. And at the same time, um, I'm really enjoying learning about his background, um, being Irish, being American, everything that he brings to the relationship. I just enjoy it very much. Yeah? Yeah. As for myself, um, I never thought being in the U.S. I would feel like an outsider. But when I do go to uh, events with her family or their house, I usually sit by myself, kind of in a corner. And I never understood how, I guess, people from other countries, like when she came here, how she would feel. And in turn, now I understand. So you're learning from each other. So, yeah, I actually see... Um, different, I, I guess from the other side, you can say, I, I see the experiences and it, it, it gets a little weird at times. And yes, I will say when she's over at uh, my family's house, it becomes a little more comfortable for me, but then I'll make a joke or a reference and she doesn't get it and I kind of feel bad. And it's like, I just kind of take it for granted growing up. Logan knows that, we talked about that. I realized after I met him that I never, visualize myself with someone who was not like me and I started wondering maybe there's something wrong with that the fact that I could not even imagine being with somebody outside my culture it does uh, it does say something about me and how I see the rest of the world I guess and mm. um, it's it, it's sad the fact that we do have to think about race within our relationship because whether we want to pretend that we live in a bubble and that our differences um, don't exist, they do and they affect us when we're on the outside. So we had to learn to talk about um, difficult topics. But there are still people down here that don't really seem to accept us. For example, we'll go into a restaurant. We're holding hands and wait, have our wedding rings on, and then we'll order, and then the guy or the lady behind the counter will go, are you guys together? Nah, Just not really, at all. Really good friends. It's, it's the weirdest thing. We'll sit down at a table, again, we're clearly together. We could even be sitting on the same side, and they go, separate, uh, checks are together or separate? And I'm like, it's not something you get used to. We had to, to accept that it has to do with race because we've been in other relationships before. We've been to restaurants before. It's just that we've been with people who look like us and we were never asked that question, whether it's separate or uh, together. So it has to do with the fact that we, we look different and people just can seem to picture us wow. in a relationship. And there, there was one instance where there, there was a woman flirting with me, not realizing right next to me, she was with me. And it's, it's weird. It's, it's something that even to this day, we do notice more and more. And we've been together for uh, almost five years and it still happens. Still going on. It's, and it is what it is. And I don't know if people will change, but it would be nice to think they would. Believe it or not, in other places outside of South Florida, we get it less. Hmm. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, go figure.